Take arms. And now let us see how beautiful hands work. I will show you, it's, um, it needs practice. So the hand has one, two, three, four levels of articulation. And for beautiful hands, we will first train ourselves to do waves. When you are doing a wave, you are going up, 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 down, 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 and then you are doing the waves, yes? So you can do waves here. So the error a lot of people are doing is this and then closing here, this and closing the hand too much or going I don't know what way. It is really, if you would do a wave, so you can imagine what will help you that you are riding with the hand on a real wave, would it be on a wooden wave or something, that you are here having something like zoom, 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 zoom. And you are taking your hand and you are now really following this wooden wave. Yes, this will probably help. Let it do with the other hand and just concentrate, concentrate. So concentrate because what your hand perhaps wants to do is close here. Uh, there is no closing, it is up and down. So, now we make it like this, up and down, waves. And in Oriental dance you will have it like this, and then go here, and you watch the hand, and then upper, and you watch your hand. And then you can do up, and have it going the wave going downwards yes and downwards again up and going downwards so you can see that you have to train this so these are the first movements having waves waves everywhere first thing so so this is you have to train if you don't know if you're doing this well and you want to send me a video, you can do the following thing. You take your fingers here, you block the fingers, you block the elbow, and you go up, down, up, down, side, 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 up, down, just this part, nothing else. And you send me the video, so I can tell you if you are not doing like this or like this. Yeah, you'd want to fix point here, a fixed point there, up, down, up, down, okay? And then when you are doing the wave, it's a real wave coming from the bending of the articulations, okay? So now the next thing is about how the hand is presented. Of course you don't present the hand like this. We don't dance like this. You Can you see this? And the hand is of course not, not with a lot of tension. I'm exaggerating. But have a look at your hands during the whole day. What are you doing with it? Like this or yeah. That your hands have to be soft. Your hands are the birds of your soul. It is very soft. With your hands you can caress. With your hands, with fingertips you can touch things. Your hands is also your elegance. How you give your hand for before we had we could put a hand like this and the man would kiss the hand how beautiful is that so pay attention to your hands if they are not you know we look at beauty don't don't look and, and, and if you have to yes beauty also <laughs> but look at the movement of your hand how beautiful is it when I take something how do I take it how do I how is my hand? Is it always taking things like this? So, in dance, it's always the same. A beautiful hand would be a hand with long fingers and a small a hand like a V. So you will put your hand together like this, the, this finger going down, 
yes, down, and the others together. And here, this finger beneath. So some dancers do it like this. Of course, it's not beautiful, but it will help in the beginning because you will remember I have to have these both down. Yeah, and nearly together, but it is like this. This is how it looks like. It's like in ballet, same thing. So you don't want to have it here. You want to make a V. And practice this so long until it becomes natural, like this. Yes, of course, you can imagine. I learned this when I was six years old, and since then I have made practices at least seven hours a week. So for me, I don't even think about it. But you will have to practice it unless you are trained with another dance form. Yes? So, now when we are doing a wave, we can decide to do the wave with the fingers together. Yeah? When we then have another movement which is turning, then we will put the hands like this and can turn the wrist here. Yes, and you see that here, my hands, my fingers, they are not like this. You don't want to have it like this. In Oriental dance, okay for waves. Yeah, but even when I'm doing a wave, isn't it more beautiful if I do the wave with my fingers like this? So this is uh, for you to train. This is also, I will put this as a little homework uh, for you for Oriental Dance, beautiful hands. And for the week, when you touch something, when you take something, do it consciously and, and take the things with elegance. Your elegance is very much in your hands. So when you start with Oriental Dance, you don't think of the hands. So this is why I'm specifically teaching you the hands today. But when you would just start with dance, I would always tell you, don't even consider your hands because your brain has to figure it all out. And when I give you the hip, I give you the steps, I give you the direction, I give you perhaps where uh, the upper body is, uh, then the brain cannot, on top of this, make you have beautiful hands. So. The hands, if we have a flute music in Oriental dance, we will just stand and we will do something with the hands. And this is beautiful. You can also do combining the shoulder here and then you have the beautiful hands yeah, doing waves, as you see, but with the shoulders. Yeah, and this is beautiful. You have probably already seen it. So you do this always like this and you can open and you close again. 